Today was a really great day where we had our target market, our expanded market, lots of Manhattan Beach locals and passer buyers who came in and got to play with our jet plane products. And it was super successful. We were really excited to see everybody's reactions. Um, we've done several events before, but this was the first time that we did it in a public space and sort of invited people in without letting them know exactly what they were going to expect. And everyone seemed really, really happy. excited. Right? Um, everyone walked away with a t shirt and they were really happy. And some people got creative with where they put their embellishments. Yeah. And they were telling us that they would love to see a store like this in Manhattan and they're excited to come back. I know, people were even making comments about the music while I was outside. Oh, really? They were like, I love the music, it was really fun. Upbeat, so, yeah. Yeah, so I feel like it's going to be really, really successful here. Who doesn't love the beach? The beach is amazing. Manhattan Beach, um, and this is the main street um, for tourism, for shopping, and for locals to hang out. It is Manhattan Beach Boulevard. It's about there's about three blocks of prime real estate this right here. The there. first block, one usually, the beach is that way, but people come from all over and they come right down this street. And there's a small shopping section right there, and then they come across to this street, which is my favorite block. Um, we have the Jamba Juice, which is a great teen hangout. Kids after school, they, uh, you'll see them all crowding around here with their Jamba Juices. And our store is going to be right down the street. So I'm going to take you down and sort of show you what's going on. And today's a, today's a Saturday. It's a little bit overcast and um, it's early spring. So it's not even the uh, best season and yet you can see there's a lot of activity. The locura. Yeah, now I'm going to LA. The next to Jamba Juice, we have Nose Bagels, which is also another great spot for people to get snacks and have coffee. Uh, Pete's Coffee, also a favorite. And then across the street, we have a few little retail stores that sell high-end clothing. Um, it's for an, an older market. And then we have a really popular spot, which is the Coffee Bean, which you'll see tons of people at. which is a popular location for all ages actually. Families really like this store because there's candy inside and there's like little knickknacks for kids and adults and nice clothing. So we would actually like to uh, do cross promotion with them and I have a feeling that they really like us and we really like what they do and we have very different products. And so we blend really nicely together, except that our prices are really more competitive. So, as we keep going down, we have what is most popular in this area, which are these sort of bougie, very high-end, very expensive adult shops, mainly for women. Um, there's really not many locations for teenagers, and most price points over here I can't, I can't even afford. And so, I feel like we really have a niche, especially in this market, just because everything else is, as you can see, more of this style. And yet, there's tons and tons of teens here, and all they're doing is going to Jamba Juice, Pete's, Coffee Bean, and occasionally they're going to the Beehive. So I feel like we'd be a really attractive spot, and there would be a lot of attention once we open up the so now we're approaching where would where our store would be. This is a shoe store um, for a while, and then this would be hopefully a jet plane location, our first retail store in Manhattan Beach, California. And so we would be able to decorate this, and we would have designers come in and really uh, let it scream what our brand is about. We have. Um, our heart logo, we'd have some more flashy colors, and we'd make sure we have music, and it always felt like there was a good, positive energy. Okay, and so just to give a full overview of what we have around here, here's Catwalk, another um, sort of expensive uh, boutique store, very high-end.
Um, across the street we have Hennessy's, which is a great hangout for the older crowd. And obviously we have Hennessy's and Coffee Bean and Cafe Pear that would look over to our store. So as people are walking by there, hopefully they would catch our, um, our bright colors. This is a new store that just opened up called Se Fiore. It's a frozen yogurt shop, which is a huge trend right now in California. There's all these health food shops and frozen yogurt shops that are popping up everywhere that are doing really well. The California market in general is um, very into uh, companies and food services that provide low fat and you know healthy products and stuff. And this is one of them. And it just opened up last week. And so right now we're continuing our walk down Manhattan Beach Boulevard. We just left the block that we would hopefully be um, having our store on. And we have a Starbucks coffee, which I'm sure the entire world recognizes. And that place is always crowded. We, we always see lines outside of that door. And so perhaps we could find a way to do a little cross promotion with them or or we'll find a way to intrigue coffee go the coffee drinkers to come to our store. We'll have to think about that. I'm sure we'll have a solution. So this is the old Stetcher's building. They're actually moving to a, a nicer spot up the hill. They're building a brand new building. Um, I think this is going to turn into offices. And across the street, we just have sunglasses shops, um, a men's clothing store, more sunglasses. And all of these businesses have been here for as long as I can remember. They really don't, they don't go anywhere. Most of these businesses, uh, businesses do really, really well in the summer and during the sort of um, seasonal times like Christmas and Thanksgiving and New Year's and other special holidays. So we're in front of the Dolly Rocker, which is um, closer to the beach. This place we thought used to, would, um, would have been a competitor for us, but recently they've changed their market to an older, um, age range and they have started selling higher marked items as well and we actually went in there and talked to them about that and they didn't really have a reason for it except they just felt like it and so we're basically the only store that is going to be providing directly to this huge market of, of youth and teens and, and people who are young at heart as well. Okay, we're coming to the end of the next block and this is one of my favorite places. It's the um, Manhattan Beach Creamery. It's the original ice cream store in this area. And um, one of our, Nancy, who is the current owner of the store that we would like to lease out, is really good friends with the owner of this store and has given us information that she would love to do cross promotion with us, which is great because She's been here for a really long time and knows the community really well. So that would all obviously help us get into the market pretty quickly. that having just three blocks and all of these stores makes everything very concentrated which is good because it gives each little business a lot of attention and you, you'll see some retail stores here that are trying to open up and on this side as well but obviously the premium real estate is anywhere on this street and our block especially because as you get more towards the beach you can tell people are have a, a habit of just going straight to the beach when they approach this area. There's also a few bars down here and some restaurants and so it becomes less of a shopping destination right here. Although there's an anchor store that attracts a lot of people to this area which is the Skechers location. This is what's really, really great about California is Manhattan Beach is the beach. Like when you hear the Beach Boys singing about, I wish they were all California girls or Surf City, they're talking about either one of two beaches, I would say, and it's Manhattan Beach or it's Huntington Beach, which is another location which is great for expansion. 
And so people come from miles and miles around, especially during the summer. They start coming now in spring, but during the summer, this place is super packed with people from the east side, from the north side, from the south, and it's, it's a great destination and you can see why the weather is beautiful, the people are nice, there's great places to eat, great places to shop, and we have the pier, which is a lovely walk for anybody, and obviously the beach. As you can see, Manhattan Beach is a prime location for any type of business and there's a lot of energy here. There's more foot traffic than one could even do marketing for and so we have a lot of kids. It's really lively, it's upbeat, they're energetic, they're creative, um, they're really interested and excited. Yeah, you really couldn't think of anything better for a business opportunity. I mean, what more can you ask for than good weather, lots of other successful businesses, and lots of yeah, lots of foot traffic, a huge community, um, and tourists. Sixty thousand tourists that are dropped off at the end of the block. I think that jet plane being here in Manhattan Beach in this location would be a great investment and a huge business opportunity. I've got to leave all that behind. Do, do, do one more, sir. This would be our new um, cafe retail store. Start, start that one more time, sir. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Of course, right. not no, no. Okay. Okay, and so hopefully this would be the new jet plane retail store. Get it where it's, you want it, and then have Catherine press it, and then uh, you can draw on it right after. Birds, can you get the birds? Or is the sun too much? Oh, they're so beautiful. I love the beach. Who doesn't love the beach? The beach is amazing. Everyone loves the beach. This is what's so great is Manhattan Beach. standing in front of um, Body Suite, which is hopefully going to be the next new jet plane retail store. And today we just had our first public and documented event where we had our target market and then our expanded market come in and that's going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah. I know, he actually was ironing while you were so cute. Okay, ready?